Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Games That Never Were. Today we are going to take a look at 4D Warriors. 4D Warriors came out in 1985 and was developed by Coreland and published by Sega. This game has me confused on several levels, as I have no idea what's going on in this game, but with a bit of digging around, I just might have found something of interest. You take control of a jetpack propelled space warrior who can travel between parallel universes and wormholes throughout the game. You can travel back and forth over these universes by going over a wall, and these so called different universes are just downright strange. The Red Universe, as it will be called, is full of different weird enemies like small men in spacesuits, orbs, snakes, crystals, and other bizarre creatures. The Blue Universe has a dip in the gravity section, so it will pull your warrior down, so trying to keep up is a bit of a challenge. There is another strange universe that I got to see when swallowed up by an enemy! This weird universe is full of the same enemies that just appear out of nowhere, and there are hundreds of them! Avoiding them is just plain ridiculous. On my playthroughs, the only way that I was to access different areas was to go over these walls multiple times trying to kill what I thought is the boss. Each time I defeated the boss, he would go over the wall and I could go on to the next area where he would evolve into something different. If you beat the boss and didn't fly over the wall, then you would meet an onslaught of enemies. One thing I did notice is that if I stay in the area too long, then there is a dark storm cloud that will block your way over the wall. It isn't until you get far enough in the level that the cloud disappears and you can go face the boss. This game is just downright strange indeed. It almost feels like you have to experiment in the game to figure out where to go or what to do. Even though this game is a shoot 'em up and the objective is to survive at all costs, I can't help but think that this was nothing but an attempt to have a coin eater arcade out there. Don't get me wrong though, it is a fun game, although it's just difficult on how to proceed to the next round, not the next area. There are different crystals in the game that will allow you to shoot different weapons which can help defeat the boss, or the massive amounts of enemies, but be careful not to die, because one hit and you will lose all your items and start all the way back over. Honestly, each playthrough seemed to be different. Even though I was battling the same enemies over and over, there always seemed to be something different that challenged me even further than just pushing through an onslaught of enemies. But I will say something about the enemies, they all have a different pathway they travel, so keeping up with them is very challenging. The boss in his first form is easy enough, just shoot him until he goes over the wall. But in his next few forms, however, the mirror-like objects that surround him will start to reflect your bullets and that can cause problems in his final form. Now, I do have to say this, in all of the bosses, they act exactly the same. This game is just difficult and fun at the same time. You have no idea where you'll be next. If you're going to die, it's a game that you'll have to experience for yourself. So, here are the burning questions. How much did the game cost in 1985? Well, again, this arcade was only 25 cents to play, and to the average arcade goer, you would really want to play this game, but only for a few times, or until you got wise and noticed all your coins were gone, because that's what this game really does. It just eats your coins up. And before we wrap this video up, let's take a look at some promotional stuff and the cabinet itself. Now, the only thing that I could find promotional was this flyer that is in Japanese. It's interesting to see this, and so far, I couldn't actually find the cabinet at all. But digging around some more, I found out that there are four characters in the game called Daisuke, the hot-blooded teen with fiery hair and an attitude to match. Donald, the bespectacled techno-nerd with silver hair and a heart of gold. Dennis, the balding former military general with an unorthodox strategy that gets results. And Dina, the woman. Wow, that's no joke. That, that's really what it says. And, and that's all the information that I could find about this game. And the last part 
is that all four of these characters together they are the 4D warriors the unique fighting force hunting murderous aliens through trans-dimensional battle suits. I do want to thank The Cutting Room Floor and ArcadeMuseum.com for having as much information as possible about this game, because there really isn't much out there. And if you guys want to learn more about arcade games in general and their secrets, I'll leave a link in the description below. So have you played 4D Warriors before? Do you have a game that you might think that no one else has played before? If so, let me know in the comments below. And like I always say, these are the games that time forgot. These are the games that you've never played. These are the games that never were. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.